Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead Let's Play. Um, as you can maybe remember last episode, uh, our uh, previous uh, previous guy died, unfortunately. Um, and, and we created a new character called, uh, I think his name is Justin Miller, yes. And Justin Miller is a psychopath and a drunken master, so uh, I think with Justin Miller we'll be carrying quite a bit of booze with us. And uh, last time we stopped the episode uh, when we uh, camped out in uh, in a liquor store after killing some zombies. And and fortunately, last episode we also found a bunch of um, human uh, military corpses, which... Uh, which gave us some nice, uh, nice equipment. As you can see, we're wearing a uh, an uh, a Kevlar vest and uh, some army uh, some army army clothes, and we also have a two and a half liter canteen, which we can fill with water, which is very nice indeed. Um, we got a binoculars and. Yes, yeah. We also got a USP, which we mistakenly thought ha uh, contained bullets, because right here it says, uh, where was it? Ammunition, 12 rounds of .45, which was actually not the case. This thing is completely empty, which is quite silly, if you ask me, because why the hell would the military guy carry a gun that didn't actually have a loaded magazine in it? Unless he emptied the clip onto something that attacked them. Yeah. That okay, yeah, that sounds reasonable. That sounds reasonable. Um, so, yeah, let's. Uh, this episode at least will uh, be. Uh, will be uh, uh, gathering some. Uh, some. some booze. Uh, let's see. A gallon jug of cheap wine. Mm -hmm. I think that's. Uh <laughs> Do you see what this actually costs, this gallon jug? Oh, those are actually 105 gallon jugs, or... Hmm. Not quite sure how that works. There's 105 portions. Oh, I see. So you can... Right, you can sip from it 105 times. So basically, a gallon jug of wine... In this game, if you find uh, other NPCs, which up until up until now we really haven't en uh, encountered any NPCs, but you can trade with uh, with other NPCs. And as you can see, the price of this gallon jug of cheap wine is over two and a half k. So it's not not so cheap, is it? <sighs> Anyways, there's some aluminum cans of beer, which are pretty cheap. Thirty six dollars. And a European Pilsner is... Really? Europe European Pilsner is the same price as a regular can of beer? I assume we're in America, since this says European Pilsner. And I think European Pilsner is usually uh, pretty expensive in, uh, in other parts of the world that's not Europe. <laughs> because, you know, our European beer is so damn good. Um, a bottle of gin, European Pilsner. I think maybe we'll uh, we'll be taking the uh, gallon jug of cheap wine. No, we're not because it's <laughs> way too heavy. <laughs> oh dear. Glass bottle of whiskey. Mm, gin. No, I'm not a very not a gin man. No. Oh look, there's Chardonnay as well. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Uh, Imperial Stout. Nice. Only three servings there, unfortunately. Triple sec. Oh, look, there's also tequila here. Boozeberry, rum and coke, strawberry surprise, and American pale ale. Belgian ale. Our Belgian ale is actually very, very nice indeed. Wild apple, Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes. Aluminum can of beer. I can have a mind to bring beer with me, but they all have actually I have one serving, so that's not very good. Triple sec. Dang it. Come on now. Belgian ale three. Ah 
Oh well, let's. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the uh, with the vodka. Just because, why the hell not? Let's do it. All right. We have the vodka in our inventory now. I think. Uh, yes, we do. Glass bottle of vodka. All right. This one has 21 servings. A rich sealable glass bottle ho holds 750 milliliters of liquid in Soviet Russia. Vodka drinks you. <laughs> funny, funny. All right, let's uh, head out to that house to our left because no, 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 no. Wait, let's uh, explore this a little more. See if there's any interesting things that we don't want to miss. What's this? Oh, it's a dumpster. Mm. Nope, let's uh, go across the streets here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, really? A decayed zombie. Hopefully it's not seen us. Hopefully it'll leave us alone. I think we'll be breaking this window down here so it doesn't hear us. I keep pressing I before I... <laughs> <laughs> I press that button. Okay, let's head in this house. Some gloves there. I'm not quite sure. Rubber gloves. All right, let's see. Rubber gloves. A pair of rubber gloves, often used while cleaning with caustic materials. Yeah. So this is uh, <coughs> to not let your hands become wet. I don't think it's going to be very useful. Uh, spoon, no. Card box of raw macaroni, okay. Yeah. Scissors, glass shard, sheet, heavy stick, long string. Well, I think we'll uh, be taking uh, the macaroni. Hopefully we can make something of that at some point. Hmm. This house seems to be very, very empty indeed. Oh, there's a zombie here, of course. Yep. Um, but we'll be kicking his ass. Did we find any new interesting weapons? No, we just have the steak knife here. We actually need to... Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. 12 damage. Bites your leg, but your armor protects you. That's good news. Dodge the zombie. I whack him. Whack him again. Nine damage. Eight damage. Nine damage. That's not a lot of. Uh, not a lot of damage. I'd really like uh, that we uh, maybe switch out our uh, weapon at some point. Um, let's see. Shredded denim shorts. Ripped long sleeve shirt. Torn backpack. This will definitely be taking. As you can see, we have 24 storage now on the top lo top right. And once we equip this backpack, we have 64. But unfortunately, it is torn. Uh, so that means that as soon as it gets hit by anything, probably it will disintegrate and uh, we'll lose all our storage. So that's, that's uh, not. I would prefer that not happening. Um, yeah, let's ignore that one. Go into this room here. Oh, looks like there's some ambient there. We'll be taking that with us. Why did it not... did you not take everything? Uh, oxygen tank, nope. And I think we'll be filling up our Yes. So now we activated the, uh, I think the water siphon behind the uh, behind the toilet, and we can now choose uh, a container which we want to fill with water, and we'll be activating you fill your two and a half can liter can canteen with some water. That's good. So now our canteen should be filled with water. Um, canteen, canteen. 
Where's our canteen? Yep, there we go. So our two and a half liter canteen is now filled with water and we'll actually have 10 servings of water. So that's good to uh, sustain us um, for quite a while. I know vodka is also a liquid, but I don't think uh, you should be drinking that all day long. Uh, wool gloves and cocaine. Mm. No, we have some gloves already. Uh, cigarettes, nope. I think we uh, went through the entire house here. to the streets again and to our north we spotted another zombie let's uh, ignore that one because that's probably far away and smash this window from the north we hear a whack glass breaking thank you all right so clean up this window monster dangerously clear close. Oh, I see. I didn't notice him there. Stop construction? Yes, of course, stop construction. Oh, it's a grabber zombie. You break... Oh, dear. Grabber zombie grabs you. I've not fought one of these before. Not quite sure what they do. A deformed human body, once living, its arms dangle from its sides like limbs from a skinless ape, mindlessly groping at their surrounding. I'm not quite sure what happens if uh, they keep us in a lock. Maybe we can't attack it anymore then. Maybe it will crush our ribs. Who knows? Let's see. Moderately injured. Well, it has a lot of HP, apparently. Your steak knife gets stuck in the grabber zombie pulling it out of your hands. God damn it. Well, at least it's heavily injured. Do we have any uh, other things we can beat the zombie over the head with? Uh, well, we could. Maybe it helps. <laughs> Just wield this and uh, smack him over the head with that. Zombie keeps hurting my torso. That's not good. Alright, how to succeed in business? Well, first of all, let's take out our steak knife again. <sighs> you can bring your bartering skills to three. Hmm. Let's not, uh, let's not take that right now. Um, Alright, we need to re-equip our steak knife. There we go, steak knife, wield. There we go. Now, let's clean up this window. There we go. Let's see what's in here. Cough syrup, glass shard, sheet, heavy stick, any relics. Saline. Hmm. A solution of sterilized water and salt for intraven intravenous infusion and washing contaminants out of one's eyes. Mm, yeah. Alright, what's in this room here? Cola, soldering iron and a blanket. I think cola contains caffeine will keep us awake and that's not a good thing uh, three liter glass jar plastic uh, flip pops USB drive mm. yes let's ignore that zombie up there yes yes I've seen the zombie Aluminum can of beer, no. Has it seen us? Yes, of course it's seen us. 
Yes, yes, I know. Good. Now, this is a pretty good tactic because the zombie actually will take a long time to go through the window and we, before it actually attacks us, we can get a few punches in. As you can see we got uh, four punches in before it actually uh, started lunging at us. And yeah, it's almost dead already now, so... 10 damage, 8 damage, 9 damage, 8 damage, and it's dead. Goody good. Is another zombie coming? I think so. Hello? Come on little zombie man. Oh, there's also a spitter zombie somewhere up there. I prefer not to uh, alert him. There we go. One, two, three, and four. Oh dear, I'm blinded. How am I blinded? By what? Oh, it bites him. It bites my eyes. Wow. Your t-shirt is ripped. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna have to find a new t-shirt then. Whack the zombie, whack the zombie, and the zombie dies. Good, good. Here, zombie, zombie. Oh, it's actually going through that window, this one. 10 damage, 14 damage. Oh, you're torn backpack is dented. Please don't break our backpack. Please, please. And a zombie dies. Nice. Some 9mm rounds in here, but 9mm rounds do not fit in our USP, unfortunately. And some bra here. Blah, blah, blah. Sheets, long string, cash card, a ranch, some sandals. Well, we need a new shirt, I think, because the zombie uh, kind of ripped our uh, t-shirt. Ripped t-shirt. Well, he's still we're still wearing it, but mm. yeah, let's just keep it on for now. Let's just keep it on for now. And go into the street. Oh, ooh, dear. I did not realize that the spitter zombie was that close. Let's try and run away from it. Oh, no. Okay. Well, there's multiple spitter zombies then. Yep. Let's uh, run away a little bit here. Hopefully the spittle zombie will uh, ignore us at some point. No, it won't. <sighs> okay, well, let's bandage our torso and... Let's try and uh, fight this uh, spitter zombie. A hunched human body with its eyes pushed up into its forehead and drooping cheeks. Most of its face is occupied by puckered, by a puckered mouth. Its stomach is swollen and nearly translucent, with a sickly yellow, probably yellow, gooey stuff. Okay, so um, yes, let's uh, put some put a bandage on. Uh, our torso. Oh, that's not gonna help. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Do you have anything else that can help? No. It was ab ambient. That was... Uh, right, that's for insomnia. Okay, well, let's just... Uh, oh God, these stupid spores here. 
What? Oh, it spit at us. Of course it did. Oh, it's actually staying out of range, or... Hmm. Come on now, you little spitter zombie. You dodged him. Whack, whack. Seven damage. I'm dodging in quite well. No damage. Well, that's not good. <laughs> From the west you hear a spitting noise and the whole zombie body dissolves into acid. Let's not, st let's not stand in the acid, shall we? Yes. There's absolutely nothing left of that... Uh, go back uh, back up here I didn't examine this but what's this um, no that's this I mean oh it's a pipe right no idea what to use that for let's uh, go into this house right here found a tough zombie to our west well, we're going to our east, so let's ignore that. What is this? Is this a... Oh, it's a picket fence. Can we smash the picket fence? Yes, we can. Can we then uh, clean up the shits that... No, we can just realign it. Okay. You see three two by four, six nails, and splintered wood. Yes, that's a window. Let's uh, smash the window and then clean the broken window so we can move through. Heard womp. Um, where did the womp come from? Stop construction? Yes, please. From the northwest. I think they're. Uh, they might be in the house. Yes, they are. They are indeed. That's just a regular zombie, thank God. So let's just try and murder it. Haha. <laughs> try to bite us in our hand, but we had armor to protect us. Screw you, zombie! Anything else? Don't think so. Let's see what this zombie had on him. Nothing interesting. Alright. Let's continue cleaning up this window. There we go. See some cigarettes. Uh, what else is in here? Protein powder, uh, glass shard sheets, heavy stick, long string. Television. Oh, top gear. Nice. Mm. It's actually sheets outside. Oh, uh, probably those sheets are the curtains I think yeah I think we should try uh, trying to turn these sheets into uh, into sort of ripped uh, cloth or something so we I think they're the same as bandages but let's have a let's have a look uh, let's use a steak knife on the cut up fabric yes cut up what uh, the sheets, please. You slice the sheet into rags. Yes, very nice. Oh, we have another sheet. So let's use the steak knife again. Activate. And let's use it on the sheet again. There we go. Twelve rags. All right. Large piece of cloth, useful in crafting and possibly for staunching bleeding. That's pretty, uh, pretty useful. 
And I think that also uh, skills you up in uh, in something. Uh, I think construction, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I think that might be um, might be construction that it levels you up in. Yeah. So we look to we are looking to be in quite good shape currently. Um, firefighter zombie. Where is a firefighter zombie? Hmm, not quite sure. Let's just move inside here. Yep. Let's uh, try and hide in here for now. So yeah. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll call another episode here. Um, I think this guy uh, now uh, has the standing record for uh, longest uh <laughs> longest uh, survivor in our let's play. So, uh yeah, I'd like to thank you all for uh, watching and hopefully uh, you'll join us again in the next episode where we'll be uh, continuing uh, the adventures of Justin Miller, our cook. So, yeah, thanks for watching and as always, have a good one.